Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so let's read the question. It says, describe how a controlled experiment can be created to examine the effect of ingredient X okay, in a toothpaste. So there's some toothpaste, and they're adding an ingredient to it. And we want to know, does this ingredient do anything? I think the issue that I have with this question is, what do they really want me to say? How much do they want me to say? And I think that what they're looking for in a question about setting up some kind of controlled experiment, they're looking for words like random. They're looking for words like control, and that's really all they're looking for. So you could say form two groups, and if you really want to get full credit for this kind of a question, you want to say form two random groups, right? Random groups, and you could say, and they should be reasonably large, something like that, right? Because groups that are reasonably large. Now that's a vague term, right? Reasonably large, but keep it somewhat vague because this question is so general. You want to say you want to keep it somewhat large and random. In other words, you don't want like two people. You want lots of people. Now it turns out if you look at the way they graded this question, they did accept answers where you had two groups of 10 or I think even five people, um, but I would say a reasonably large amount of people. And if you want to form two random groups that are reasonably large and, so that may have the best grammar here, I'll start with the second sentence with the word end, and one group, right, just has regular toothpaste without the ingredient. So one group has the toothpaste, this is your control group, toothpaste without ingredient X okay and you could say it's the control group you wouldn't lose credit for that but you don't need to comma and the other group has this is your variable group has um, toothpaste with ingredients X. Toothpaste with ingredient X. Now, why do they ask this question? Well, I'm not really sure. What inspired them, it, it seems so open. It might have overwhelmed some students. And what do I have to say? How far do I have to go? They really just want to know if you can identify that the groups you're forming should be somewhat random. You want to I'll work out all the biases that might be associated by picking groups in non-random ways. And they, they, the groups should be reasonably large, right? You want tiny little groups here. You, you want to have enough so that it's a representative sample. And then you, they want to know that you know that one group needs to have the toothpaste without the ingredient. That's right, that's one of your groups. And the other one is the toothpaste with the ingredient. So that you can isolate that ingredient's impact on the group. That's it. All right, hope that helps. Oh, and also, I think that I said I called um, this group with ingredients X the ex the experiment group, uh, but I sh uh, the the variable group, excuse me, but I should call that the experiment group. It's the group with the uh, in this case ingredient X, the thing that's different. That's the experimental group, and I might have called it a variable group. Sorry about that. Thank you.